We boys are going to heaven, you girls come to. We boys are going to heaven, you girls come to. We boys are going to heaven, you girls come to. Look away beyond the blue. Second Corinthians thirteen eleven. What are we talking about today? We're talking about united and bringing peace and edification to people. It's going to be exciting. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. Pastor Jason. Got a great show. They're looking great today. Yeah, you really are. And we're doing, it's kind of like a spring break special we're doing. Spring break special. Yeah, pastors go wild. You can't do that? I don't think you could say that. Why could I say that? I don't know. Why pastors can't go wild? I don't know. Why does it, everybody else can go wild, but a pastor can't go wild? Pastors gone wild. That's what we're doing today. That's a whole different kind Go to wakeuptv.tv. Our scripture today. Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Wow. Uh, let me see this. I was going to say this. I like this translation better. Mm. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. And he's saying, all right, you want the God of love and peace to go with you. Mm -hmm. Here's the things to do. Yeah. Rejoice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rec rejoice. Be happy. Be happy. Edify. Yeah. Encourage one another. Be that person. So you can go into your day two things. You can go into your day and tear people down. Yeah. Talk bad about people. Yeah. Tell people what's wrong with them. And I can tell you what's wrong. You can tell your spouse. There's a list. Holly could, could get a list of all the things wrong with me. Yeah. Right? And send me off into my day that way. Well, here's, or, you want to know what your problem is? I, I, I know what I know. All my, it was so funny. Her list, I already know my list. <laughs> Most of us already know our list. In fact, your list about me is actually incomplete. <laughs> There's That's more things there. Yeah, you want to just go. You hey, missed like five really majors. You missed number thirty-seven. Yeah, number one hundred eight. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, you missed a lot. Or you could be the person that tells you what's right with your husband. Yeah. Let me tell you what's good about you. The yeah. things that I love about you. Things about your wife. Let me tell you about the things that I do love. In that, in the day, and I'm talking marriage now. In the dating days, like, what did you do? You sit around and talk about what you love about each other. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just. Uh, yeah, you tell open, people too. They open the door for the date. You're like, oh, I don't like that lipstick. No, you see, you were like, boy, you look beautiful. You're stunning. You took my breath away just now. Right. You know, we didn't say what we didn't want or what we didn't and like. And you also, when you're talking like. about your friends and they're like, and they're trying to point out the bad sometimes. Yeah. And you're like, I don't see what you're seeing. This, you don't know them. Yeah. You, you, right. You don't know. You don't know who they are. Like, I know them. Yeah, you defend them. You defend them. Like, your words are about building up. And in that, your your relationship became so strong, you said, forever. But then you get married and suddenly you start saying the wrong things. You go the other direction. You're like, oh, she's crazy. <laughs> She's crazy. He's 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 awful. He's he, he forgets everything. He's lazy, right? We we begin to say the wrong things, and you might say to yourself, "Well, but there's nothing good to say. I have nothing to be thankful for." About maybe it's your about your mom or your dad or your in laws or oh, that's so good. Or maybe your boss, your coworkers. I don't know who it is, but you're like, "There's nothing good to say." But God calls those things that are not as though they were. Right. And so, being an encourager doesn't mean you have to be saying exactly what describing exactly who they are you could be describing what you what you believe they could become right and i like this. you can become great he says that love and peace will, god's love and peace will follow you mm. so so when i'm saying bad what follows you Just, oh yeah it's coming right no it's coming when you tell start... your wife now here's the thing that my wife has a weird exchange rate yeah i'll tell her one thing wrong with her yeah and then she'll tell me all the things wrong with me it's I a am, very bad exchange i rate. am so careful with not saying negative things about people because it always Follows comes me. back and it's worse than what you said. It's a whirlwind. And it'll come back years later sometimes <laughs> to haunt you. <laughs> I, You're like, but that's not how I came out. I didn't know I did. Oh, oh my right. gosh. That's Why not did, what I said. Again, just only speak, speak positive good things. good things because it, it does follow you. I think Benjamin Franklin said it. It's very popular. He goes, I'll speak ill of no one. Yeah. And I thought, that's a... That's, that's something powerful to live your life by. It is. It, other speak. people will fill in the blanks for you. Right. They're all going to be speaking ill of each other. <laughs> you don't have to add in anything to it. Just instead you, be the defender. You stand out. Yeah. See the best in others. And I think that's part of saying the best in others is also to see the best in others. Because, you know, if you're looking for the bad, it's hard to say the good. Right. But if you're looking for the good, it's easy to say the good. 
It's right. It's, and the good's there. <laughs> I, was, I might do this on a Sunday because I thought about this. I went through <laughs> Dutch Brothers. I know we're running out of time, but I went through Dutch Brothers. So Dutch Brothers is real funny, right? And it, it can be annoying, but they're trained to, to find something about you and say, like, it's good. Like, they'll say, oh, you're, oh I love your watch. Yeah. Or I love your ring. Yeah. Oh, I love your hair. Like, they, they find something. Yeah. So I don't know if it was a new one because he came out of the window like, come in, and he goes, I, 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 I'll be right back. <laughs> He could find nothing good about me. <laughs> there's so nothing here. I tell Savannah, I go, you, don't have you, much guy, I go, you know, that's here. funny. He literally, he's like, there's no training for that. That's I could a great find, seat belt. I could find nothing great about this person. What do I do? Make something up, man. <laughs> it hit me hard. <laughs> anyway, we encourage you to partner with us. This message, you know, is life changing. Mm-hmm. And in order for it to reach people, finances really mean reach. And so we really want to push this message out there. The world needs this message. And it might be $10, $20, whatever God puts on your heart. Just be obedient to that. I thank you, Lord, right now for everybody watching this and listening to this, Lord, that you have made us complete and that we have comfort and peace and the the love of God, your love, Father, is following us because we are those who speak good things of others, that we are those that encourage each other, and, and, and see the best in others and in ourselves, Father God, that we encourage ourselves in you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. TikTok Tuesday. Yep, we like to go through the TikToks. We filter them out, the ones that are trending. We play them for you. Hope you like them. <laughs> He's really hitting so hard. You ever see the people at the gym doing weird things? He's, He's training, training for Duck Duck, duck, duck Goose. Goose. Wait, play it again. I gotta see it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's as fast as you can get on that. You know, he wins. Me and Peyton will walk around the gym and we'll just go, we'll watch people go, what are you, that does nothing. (laughs) Wait, we're not doing what we preach though. Oh yeah, you're right. That was amazing. (laughs) (laughs) He has to show the kids that he's still got it. What? No, that's in. I was amazed by this. No, stop it. (laughs) Young kids playing video games. You're getting owned by a boomer. What? That was crazy. Holy cow, I'm really impressed. Watch this clip. There are gifts inside of you you haven't opened up yet. And the reality is the gifts of the Holy Spirit are there to give every believer an advantage in this planet. We We have an advantage that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are there to accelerate and elevate your life, to help you build what God has you building, and also to help you build what others are, are, build up others in your life to help other people. And the reality is, we face tremendous odds. Satan is not excited that you got born again. He is not excited that you're praying today. He is not excited that you came to church or you're watching online. He's not excited about that. And the world also brings you tremendous things to overcome. Satan and the world are gonna throw tons of adversarial things at you, battles, roadblocks, obstacles. Oh, but church, fear not. For we are not without help. For the Holy Spirit is your helpmate. Jesus has assigned you some help. And we should stop walking around like we're victims and stop walking around like we're defeated because the Holy Spirit is all-knowing and all-powerful. Your help, your, your, your vindicator, your, your Holy Spirit that's comforting you. Come on, somebody. The Holy Spirit is assigned to be with you to help you. You can't possibly lose. And these gifts of the Spirit, they come to us to give us intuition, that gut feeling. You just know that you shouldn't do something that you should. You, you just know, or you get a word of wisdom. The gift of the Holy Spirit can give you wisdom and insight into your marriage or discernment for your teenagers and your children. The Holy Spirit can give you insight into that business meeting you're walking into. Somebody say amen. The Holy Spirit can give you, tell you what's coming in the market trends in your business. You don't, don't, nobody can understand how you keep predicting the market trends, how your business keeps staying in front of the economy. It's because the Holy Spirit is telling you of things yet to come. You are using the gifts of the Holy Spirit because God is using you to build up the kingdom of God, to take territory, to be successful, and to live your best life. I have nothing but good to say about both of those guys. <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And be in church this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow.